Innovation when it comes to better sleep and comfort in the great outdoors. That's our text to nation. I'm Fred Fishkin, and joining us from Sylvan Sport, a real outdoor innovative company, is founder and CEO Tom Dempsey. Hi, Tom. Hello, Fred. Well, you're showing off what we're going to talk about here. Give us, give us a bit of background first uh, about the company. You're based in North Carolina, and you've been in business for quite a while now. Sure. Uh, Sylvan Sport is in its 18th year now uh, here in Brevard, North Carolina. We started making the Go Camping Trailer back uh, before 2010. So we've made thousands and thousands of those, and it's a really innovative reinvention of the traditional pop-up camper into, into our interpretation of it. Um, over the years, we've added a lot of cool gear, and I think I'm in one of my most favorite pieces of our gear right now, one of our Sylvan Sport sleeping bags. Well, tell, this is more than just a sleeping bag. This is a whole system, it seems. So tell us what you've done. Yeah, it sure is. Um, you know, when we invented the Go, we kind of redefined how people camp and carry gear. And what we learned is that the majority of folks are camping pretty close to their vehicle. So whether it's in a Sylvan Sport Go or in a situation in a tent that's nearby their car. So we focus more on comfort and what we call a home-like sleep experience rather than ultra light. Uh, because if you're not carrying it in a backpack, you know, five, 10 miles down the trail, you, may, you don't really need to sacrifice comfort. So this sleep system starts with this really generous sleeping bag, generously sized. And I say generous because it has this nice side baffle and that lets you put your knees up and move around at night, just like you would uh, if you were sleeping in your own bed. And it's got multiple layers, this outer layer, an inner removable quilt here, uh, and even an organic set or a, a liner that's or, made of organic cotton. So we got the sheet set here. Um, pretty neat. The nice thing about the sheets, you can take these out and wash them separately. So even though this is a nice generously sized bag, you can keep it nice and tidy quite easily. As I mentioned, this quilt liner comes out with these buttons here, and you can use that to wrap around yourself around the campsite. Um, and then other nice features of a good sleeping bag, like the ability to vent your feet and keep nice and cool uh, when the weather gets a little hotter. But you mentioned the fact that it's a sleep system. So uh, you can kind of get an idea for it here, but it works perfectly with our, uh, cloud layer mattress system. And I know that this, this is the cloud layer mattress. This is the best camping mattress available period. It comes in this nice dry bag. Um, and when you remove it, the key to its functionality is the fact that you can inflate it and deflate it very, very rapidly. It's got these really nice valves. There's two of them, so it happens really quick. You open them up. It's got a, a, a very cool little system where you flip the valve to let air in, and you can kind of hear it going in. So you flip the valves, roll this thing out, and in just a couple of minutes, it will be self-inflated. As you can see from, from here, our sleeping bag actually fits on it. So I'm gonna kind of just pull it apart a little bit to demo that. So that keeps it from sliding around at night. You're nice and comfy and secure. Um, our sleep system comes in both a single like this one and a double. So the double of course works with two mattresses and the way the system works, it holds them nice and tight together. So just Terrific. in that, in that pillow, the, the pillow there, does that come with the sleeping bag? Uh, this would be my personal pillow, okay. but your pillow can fit right in here in this little uh, spot that holds it, keeps it from sliding off. And of course, if it's a chilly night, you know, you can compress that area around your head and stay nice and warm. So uh, just about every consideration to make uh, your camping experience as close to sleeping in a comfy bed home as possible. In fact, right. it's one of the cool things about this system. It actually makes a great occasional guest bed in the house. 
very cool or, or very warm as the case may be here. So tell me, there are other self-inflating uh, camping mattresses out there have been for, for some time. What, set, what do you feel sets you apart? Yeah, great question, thank you. Well, first and foremost, it's a generous size and it's really comfy uh, fabrics that it's made out of. Um, it also, when it's inflated, it's, uh, it's thicker than most camp mattresses. So, you know, you, you get a very comfy feel. Um, some of the nice innovation in it is really related to the, the amount of time it takes for you to set up camp and break camp. So, as I mentioned about these cool valves earlier, one of the neat features is the stuff sack where the mattress is, is actually a dry bag, but it also functions like the inflator. So you can take this plastic cap off, clip it onto there, just roll up the air into your mattress. So if you want to either accelerate filling it up or make it firmer, you don't have to add air with your lungs. You do it with this, this really easy bag system. I don't know if you can see that in the video here, but that's kind of what I'm doing here is adding some air just by rolling that up. So that makes it nice and fast. Um, same thing when you're breaking camp, you want to get the air out quickly. So you spin those around and roll up your mattress. And you can kind of see how quick that is. So a lot of camp mattresses, this, this would be a five minute plus process. This could be done in under 60 seconds quite easily. And then the bag is nice and generous and as I said, waterproof, so. And it, um, it looks pretty heavy duty because that's another issue some people might uh, raise. How sturdy is this? If, if there's a stone under my uh, tent or something, is that gonna puncture this? Yeah, great, great points. Um, it is very sturdy, of course. Um, like all Sylvan Sport products, we really focus on good quality design and then convenience and comfort blended. So, you know, we feel like if the camping experience is as convenient as possible, people are more likely to do it and keep doing it. Um, so both the mattress and the sleeping bag are really about blending those two things. The comfort is paramount and the convenience, of course, is right behind that. So, so whether it's quick to deploy, quick to store or easy to maintain in the sleeping bag, they both go hand in hand. People can find this at, at sylvansport.com. Great stuff. And you've got, you've had another hint at a new product coming along, I guess, in, in the next year or two, or give us an idea of, of the time frame here, but it's an electric RV that you're talking about. And a partner. Not only do we make, you know, not at Sylvan Sport, not only do we make um, everything from camp mattresses and lighting devices and uh, camp cooking accessories, uh, we make traditional RVs. So our Go Camper was the start. The Vast is a uh, all composite travel trailer that's really just a beautiful work of engineering. And we're working right now in partnership with a company called Zeus. Uh, who manufactures an all-electric chassis on a fully electric motorhome. So really tremendous capabilities. Um, uh, this will ultimately be about a 14,000 pound vehicle that is 100% electric in both its drive and operational systems. And in concert with Zeus, we hope to bring that to the marketplace here in the next couple of years. Sounds like a really interesting partnership and combination. You, the skills that, uh, that uh, Sylvan Sport brings to, to this, having the, the years of innovation and, and knowing how to cleverly put all kinds of gear in, in an RV uh, combined with an electric chassis. So people obviously would want to know, when do, we, when do you think we can buy one of these? <laughs> well, we're, uh, we're working towards 2023. And what's interesting about that is the current backlog of RVs, just standard ones, are already well into 2022 for most manufacturers. So uh, while that's an ambitious timetable, I think it's very much in the realm of possibility. 
Well, tell me about uh, what you've seen during this pandemic. I mean, anecdotally, there have been all kinds of stories and reports about uh, people getting out there and camping more and RV sales going through the roof. What's been your experience and, and why do you think this is? Yeah, you know, um, we look at it as the silver linings that we've experienced as a company and individuals during this pandemic. But uh, uh, last year, when things really began to shut down and people had a tremendous amount of uncertainty about what they would do with some of their free time, um, the world in, in large turned to the outdoors. And so there's definitely been sort of a re-embrace in uh, outdoor experiences, um, the everything from backyard experiences to backcountry experiences. And so all the associated uh, gear that, that is necessary to enjoy that really uh, has been under tremendous demand for the last year. And of course, pairing that with the supply chain challenges that we are experiencing, just like just about every other industry out there, makes for such a, a uh, interesting combination you know on one hand we we feel very fortunate to have the demand for our products on the other hand we're very frustrated that we can't deliver them so um, it's kind of a best of times worst of times scenario for our business and uh, we just try to make the best of it every day and I guess the most gratifying part is uh, here in Brevard North Carolina we're kind of a camping destination for the eastern U.S. so we get lots of folks that come to our door on a daily basis, um, not only looking for gear, but looking for ways to have the best experience in our local uh, outdoor places. So that interaction with those end users on a direct basis daily is what really sustains us and keeps us excited about what we're doing. And you have all sizes of, of, of campers, right? Uh, some are towable by some pretty small vehicles that wouldn't think would be towing something. That is very true. Our, uh, our go camper weighs 840 pounds. So lately it's become a very popular uh, tra camping trailer for electric vehicle owners. Um, it's yeah, it's been fantastic in that regard. Terrific. So has the supply chain been tough for you the way it has for so many companies? It definitely has. Um, we managed to work our way through much of most of last year and early this year. But really, as we got into the summer of 2021 is where things really became ultra challenging. So uh, we fight through it every day. We're doing the best we can. Um, you know, we have one standard for our products and we, we don't waver from that. So uh, making sure that we uphold that and and dealing with the shortcomings in the supply chain has been really demanding and challenging on our team. Uh, we're very grateful to our customers that are patient and hang in there with us and are understanding about the situation because as you said, it's not exclusive to us. It's a, a worldwide problem in just about every industry I know of from ice cream to campers to, you know, socks. So um, uh, yeah, it's, it's tough, but we're, we're getting through it and we've got a good team. Well, the website is sylvansport.com, S-Y-L-V-A-N sport.com. Congratulations on, on the innovation, and it sure looks like there's a lot to look forward to. Tom Dempsey, thank you for taking the time. My pleasure. Thank you, Fred.